On the most recent of weekends was held the medieval market on the grounds of the Kingdom of Kolomnitsa. It ends up being a big community event and it's, um, it's a place that people come to visit with their friends and buy stuff and listen to really great music and it's just a, it's a really good time with a lot of good vibes. Uh, when, well the first night I helped all the vendors set up like we were bringing in chairs and tables. For the past 30 years, this event has been providing a venue for local artists and craftsmen to sell their goods, while also providing a truly enjoyable atmosphere to everyone else. All the, everything that's sold here is handmade by the vendors themselves. Um, and it's a juried fair, which means the committee that organizes the fair looks at, at all the um, the products that the vendors want to sell and we make sure that it's of a very high standard. I, I grew up in Williams Lake so my family's still here and uh, I, I come out, I was at the market two years ago and so every two years there's a market that I do in Cape Breton so I, I kind of, I work, my mom's a potter too so she does the, the functional work in this booth and I do the more sculptural pieces and so we work together in her studio and it's nice to be with my family. I asked and I still can't seem to figure out how the medieval theme started oh so many years ago. All I can say is that the current organizers inherited it and found no need to change. Well, I like dressing up in medieval outfits, that's what. Um, I think it's just, it makes a different feel, you know, and there's sort of a cohesiveness to the market itself because all the vendors are dressed in a certain way and then, you know, the booths are decorated in a medieval theme. And, I think it just makes it a little bit more special than a general market. I guess my the favorite thing is just the really positive community feeling that it generates because people come here to um, get together with their friends. The market does help raise money for the students at Kolonitsa. But that's only after people have gone and bought all the interesting things that were on offer there. Oh, I bought a little bit too much. I have to say, I bought um, a kind of a sweatery, cloaky thing, and I bought a painting from uh, the Bonners here, and I bought a bunch of organic produce. Oh, uh, these nice people over here, they, uh, they sell crib boards for like the card game, and they're really, really good at making them. This time capsule from another world. We'll return again next year. With Go Williams Lake, I'm Jonathan Horst.